Hey guys, what's going on? Irock THS here with another episode of the uh, Out of the Park tutorial series. This is the last episode we are going to have for the regular season, uh, and then we will have uh, one, maybe two more episodes. Uh, the uh, Rule 5 draft and free agency. Um, I don't think we're going to be doing too much in the Rule 5 draft, so I think I can go over that at the free t same time as free agency. So, uh, let's just go ahead and get started with this episode. Okay, so the first thing we need to do today before we really do anything else is we need to go ahead and I'm going to guess he's not going to take it, so we're going to go ahead and rest in peace, Bartolo. We're going to go ahead and release him. Okay, so before we go any further, I need to do something that I haven't done, um, that I really should have been doing throughout the season, and I haven't done, and that is uh, go into my short list, uh, my prospect short list, and move all these guys around uh, to where they need to be fit. So something I have noticed uh, with all of my pitchers at AAA is they are not really pitching, and I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I've only been wa I've only been watching for the last few days. And, uh, and I've only watched a, f a few days, so it may seem like they haven't been pitching, but it feels like they aren't pitching enough. So, I don't think any of my guys at AAA are really good enough to move around. So, and the same goes with, uh, Ricardo at AA for some reason. He's not getting, uh, too many innings. Well, actually, he's, he's getting a few innings now. So, he's, he's up to 15. But it just seems like my relievers aren't throwing enough. So I need to look through these guys and figure out who I want to move around and promote. And I did go ahead and make a list of these guys here really quickly. So the first one we want to look at is going to be uh, Julio Pablo Martinez. So he's at double A. He's a left fielder. And if you look, he's slowly been getting his left field skill up. So I want to leave him at left field. Uh, so we go to batting stats and expanded stats, uh, just in case you guys forgot how to get there. Um, so we go to batting stats and expand stats. Looks like he played in Cuba and he's got some independent time and he just came over and went straight to double A. And he did, he did pretty well. He's got a bad up, uh, batting average on balls in play of 332. His WRC plus is 104, which isn't a world beater, but it's not bad. His Wobo, which is probably a better, uh, a pretty good metric for it, is 340. Usually fairly well, um, you know, weighs the on base percentage versus slugging percentage. His ISO is low, uh, so his power is low, but he has a home run power of 35 potential. So I'm not too worried about that, especially since these are really low, much lower levels than what he's playing this year. So um, you come over here, the ones that we're really looking at, the strikeout rate is 14.7 and the walk rate is 11.0. So the strikeout rate has come down and the walk rate has come up. So, um, so it looks like he's getting better at both his eye and his avoid Ks. Uh, and he's getting on base at a fairly good clip. Um, we're going to leave him in left field because we want, we want him to keep getting experience there. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and demote or promote him to triple A. So now I want to go to triple A, um, and see, uh, what my triple A outfield situation looks like. Cause I want to make sure he still gets to play. And looks like they only have three guys that are playing the outfield right now. Um, another thing I, I've read to mention, I did uh, put Andy Ibanez over to getting some time at short over the next month uh, because he's another one on this list. He is going to get a September call-up. He is at AAA, but we can't call him up to the majors right now. Um, so uh, we, we don't have the roster spot for him. So he's going to get a September call-up. Um, again, strikeout rate going down, walk rate going up. Uh, those, the strikeout rate should be pretty low for him. The walk rate is going to be about average. Um, and then the batting average on balls in play, 329, pretty good. ISO, 163, which means that, you know, his, his home run power is starting to come through. Um, that's about where I'd expect it for a guy with 40 home run power. He's going to hit a few home runs uh, as I knock everything around on my desk there. Um, you know, WRC of 116 shows he's doing pretty well. Um, so it's, you know, he's got all the metrics that are saying, you know, he's, he's getting better. So, uh, he doesn't have that many appearances here. Uh, he's probably, there's a good chance he's my opening day third baseman, but, uh, the only reason he's playing shortstop right now is I want to see if I can get him some time there. 
Um, maybe work on his shortstop later, uh, but you know we may need a we may want want him at short at some point in the future. So uh, you can see he's pretty happy right now, um, but not necessarily the most happy in the world. And actually, if we go back to uh, Julio, okay, he's happy now. There was someone I don't know who it was. Oh, I know who it was. Um, we'll we'll get back to that. There's someone who's upset that I want to mention away. We might be able to unupset them. So let's see. We looked at Toki, and or no, we looked at Abanez. We need to look at Toki now. Uh, he is also going to get a September call up. Uh, again, he's at AAA. Uh, his ISO is 111, but again, he's got 30 home run power. He's not really going to hit home runs. We're looking at Babip 339 over 450 plate appearances. 453 plate appearances. Again, we said the threshold is 450, and a uh, walk rate of 7.3 which is an improvement from last year's uh, 6.1 at AA. Uh, so he's not only getting better, um, like not only you know doing well, he's doing better than he did at the level before. Uh, this is the best one he's had since he spent a fair amount of time at A-ball uh, back in 2015. And his strikeout rate uh, is uh, slightly lower than it was at AA last year, half of what it was in his limited time at AAA last year. Um, again, Woba of 0.333. Uh, I don't know what his actual, because I didn't look at his actual, like, yearly stats, his actual stats here. So he's hitting 298, 354, 409. You might want that 354 to be a bit higher, considering he is kind of a bat first guy. Um, but, uh, okay, he can't play the infield. So um, let's go back here. So we have a center fielder, a left fielder, and a right fielder. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty set there. Um, let's take a look at Destin Hood. I hadn't looked at him before, but his slash line here, slash line is average on base percentage slugging, looks pretty good. He's got an OPS of uh, 14, of 145. So he's probably getting a September call-up, and then we're going to take him off the September the roster most likely, uh, or try to trade him. He's 28, so he could just, you know, he's much older than, than the players he's hitting against, but it shows he's doing pretty well. Uh, so let's limit it to scope AAA because he's got a lot of them in there. So he's been at AAA since 2014. So he's been here a while. Uh, so his strikeout percentage is still 25%. Walk is 9.3. That's not bad considering his ratings. Um, he, again, we need to go back to AAA. Um, his ISO is 280. So he's getting, he's hitting the ball really hard. Swoba is 404. His bat up is 372. Um, you know, his ISO, like I said, his ISO 280, he's more than earned a shot at the September roster. Um, if there is a injury between now and the end of the season, uh, if you don't know how playoff rosters work, you can't be on the playoff roster, uh, if you're not on the regular season roster, the, on the 31st, or it, unless you are replacing someone who gets injured. So, um, if there's someone who gets hurt between now and then, um, it may, I may, uh, may may call him up to see if I can get him eligible for that, get him a little bit major league experience, see if he can actually handle it. So a lot of shortstops on this roster. My, my minor league rosters are really big. Um, I may need to I may need to take control and release a couple of people. So and it lists the same player on both teams. Why does it have the Indian? Oh no, it has the Indians listed twice. That makes no sense. Um, there we go. We need to display them. So uh, Bart is looking okay at Hickory, uh, a lot better than he did at uh, wherever Carolina is. Oh, uh, down down east. So that's just something to keep an eye on. And the next thing I want to go, I'm going to go back to my short list because I can't remember where the next guy is um, that I want to look at. So go back here, prospects, and let me flip my sheet over here. Um, so Chris Cease, uh, shortstop here at A minus, uh, short season A ball. So if we look at his stats, he's not really that bad, but his walk his walk rate's getting better. His strikeout rate's getting better, but his his BABIP is down. His WRC is actually up. 
I still want to move him down. So, um, this may not be the best idea. Like, it may not be, a, you know, the the definition of what you need to do. But um, if you look at his role on the team, he's unhappy about that, but he's happy about everything else. So if you go to the team, uh, so game strategy lineups. So if you go to the team, he's starting every day. So I don't understand why he's not happy unless he's saying he wants to be um, he wants to be higher up. So I thought maybe he wasn't starting and that's why he was unhappy. But that is not the case. Obviously, I didn't look as into this as I thought I, I did. So we're going to go ahead and put him at uh, EZL. And he's angry about transactions, but we are going to, again, come back here, set game strategy, uh, force to use a shortstop. So, yeah, he's probably not going to be thrilled for a while, but uh, hopefully that um, makes him happier. Uh, he's just not proven that he's he's ready to go at a ball right now. So, um, let's go over here and... Go to minor leagues and let's look through to see if there's anyone else that deserves a movement here. Uh, everyone else who's shortlisted, I felt, did not merit a movement. Let's look at uh, Ricardo uh, Jose Rodriguez, who you look at his K per nine. Oh wait, that's his that's his uh, major league numbers. So you look at his K per nine. He's a double A this year. His K per nine, his walks per nine, and his uh, home runs per nine are really low, but he's only got 52 innings. So I don't know why he's here, though, instead of AAA. Actually, I'm going to move him up. Actually, gonna, I'm going to send him to AAA. I uh, don't know why he's not at AAA. He should be. Um, so, let's see. should actually look at these guys. Let's look at our starting pitchers here. Uh, no. no. I should make sure that this is... The, yeah, okay. Well, still no. No, I am going to... I'm looking at their ERAs. So, 3.73 ERA... Should look at uh in loss. Eh. Not many innings, not many innings. Uh only seven innings. Take a look. Pitching stats. Oh yeah, for some reason it so it, it defaults to whatever view you were on last. So if you go from batting, which only has two options, it actually you know, if you go from batter to a pitcher, it actually pulls up opponents' batting stats. So I go to uh, oh, that's not the one I want. Uh, expanded stats two to look at it. Oh, I thought it was here. Oh, it is right here. So, uh, he is at double A. He's got uh six point one walks per or strikeouts per per nine, two point two walks per nine, and point six uh home runs per nine at double A. Um, so FIP is fairly high for that, but. Looks like he's doing okay. Um, and it was who that guy? Yeah. Um, the other problem is there's so many players on this roster that I don't want to mess with that. So I may need to get involved and just start releasing some players uh, who aren't getting it done. And you know, because we're not getting everyone in there that needs to be getting in there. Like. Um, so this says that he should be promoted. So that green arrow means that they should be promoted. The red arrow means that they should be demoted. You shouldn't follow that without looking at things. Because you see, he has 212, 243, 258 slash line. At, you know, double, at, at, oh, he's a, he's a, uh, a he's a, okay, that's why. Yeah, because he's at, uh, uh, a, uh, a advanced. Uh, let's go look at his batting stats, expanded stats, in League Scope uh, Class A. So, this is where he is down east. Um, he is, he has a bat of 389, ISO of 174, Wob of 381 is pretty good, uh, strikeout percentage of 10, walk percentage of 9. The only thing I want to know is what does my shortstop situation look like here? Uh, it actually isn't that bad, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, promote him up. So, uh, it says Julio Rodriguez should be demoted, so he's at double A, and, you know, I don't see a reason why he should be demoted. 
Uh, he's hitting 310, 370, 464. Any stats, reduce it to double A. Uh, his Babbitt's 301, his ISO is 155, Wilbur 374. Uh, walk percentage of 8.7, strikeout percentage of 7.6. So it is a fairly small sample size, but he appears to be performing pretty well, outperforming really his projections. So uh, I don't understand why we would demote him uh, currently. So that's why you always want to look at it, because it says you should demote him, but obviously he looks like he's doing really well. So... Anyway, that's what I want to say about uh, what, about demoting, promoting people right now. Uh, don't really have time to get into all of that, everything. Um, so uh, I did go through, I do need to go through and uh, put uh, the, add more players to my shortlist. Um, so I think I have the, pe- the three people I drafted in the first three rounds. And those are the ones I really want. I don't think anyone else I drafted I'm really too concerned about. But... Let's uh, let's see if we can uh, move forward in the month and see what happens. Okay, so uh, apparently my uh, OBS failed to record uh, what I just did. Didn't do too much. Well, actually, I did. I uh, made a couple of transactions here. So uh, ignore those. That's why we keep we keep signing these minor league rods. Maybe I have to completely give up control, but I don't have time to manage everyone. Um, so what we did was we went ahead and we optioned uh, Kella to uh, AAA. So you can see his walk rate is 6. He's walking 6 batters per 9 innings. So he's got a really good strikeout rate and a pretty solid home run rate. But we're we're here to to win right now. If we were you know, if we were if we were losing, I wouldn't be as troubled sending him send, I would be as as troubled, you know, leaving out to see if he can work through it. But we we're we're trying to win. His ERA is five point one six, so he's actively you know caught ca- making it harder for us to to succeed. Um, so I uh, went ahead and sent him down um, and called up uh, Gardewine, Nick Gardewine, who uh, at AAA had a ten point one strikeouts per nine, but a, more importantly a point three a three point six bit walks per nine. And a uh, 0.5 home runs per nine. His ERA is 2.48. Uh, at the major league level, he only had eight innings last year. Uh, did walk quite a few guys, but um, also uh, did and didn't strike many guys out. But again, very small sample size. Was pretty good at, at Double A, and he's basically got the same home run numbers at Triple A that he had at Double A that year. So he's probably a little bit better. I don't have too many qualms about calling him up to fill a spot in the uh, bullpen right now. And again, since we called him up in August, he should qualify for the uh, for the uh, roster for the uh, postseason roster. Can't think. Uh, so then we also uh, designated Doug Fister for assignment. We have him and designate him for assignment. So his metrics aren't terrible. Uh, home runs per nine is a little high, but not terrible. The problem is he's just not getting results, and he's had a large sample size. So he's just been ineffective this year, and ineffective is not enough. So uh, we went. I went ahead and designated him for assignment because again, we are we're all in right now. Um, not like win right now, but we're all in on. I'm all in on this run. I, I want. I want to make this run to the playoffs. Um, and we're not that far out of out of the playoffs. It says we're five and a half back, but that's from the the division. Uh, we're actually, I think, about a half game out. I'll check in a second. So I went ahead and called up Barnett. Um, he spent the last couple of years at AAA. Uh, actually, it was at major league level uh, in for most of the season. Looks like in uh, in 2016, spent some time at uh, the majors the last couple of years, but hasn't really had the results. Um, so uh, the walks per nine is not great there. 4.4. It was much better at the major league level this year. In a very small sample size, but this isn't a large one, and it's been better at the major league level in the past. So, um, so hopefully he will uh, get it down to about that three point five um, that it, that it's been at that it was at uh, last year, and you know hopefully the the strikeout stays around there too. Uh, he's giving up enough uh, small enough number of of uh, home runs that he should be effective for us. So um, we definitely uh, you know. Again, we need to we need to go all in on this. 
I want to I want to make this playoff run. Even if we don't get anywhere in the playoffs, I still I still want to you know make the run. So uh, we'll go ahead and we will take a look at the uh, the standings here really quickly. Uh, so obviously the Astros are really good. They have a uh, seven they're at seventy wins. Um, they actually like the win four and loss four uh, for the uh, streak is not a coincidence. Uh, if you go into the schedule here, uh, they just completed a four-game series sweeping the the uh, the Mariners, which that's the, one of them sweeping the other is the best thing that could happen for us. I think uh, the Mariners are a much weaker team than the Astros, so I think this is the better outcome of those two. Either way, that that sweep gets us closer to uh, the the wild the second wild card spot and if they split two ga- if they you know split two games we're probably two we're two and a half games out now instead of you know half game out so we definitely definitely have a have a really good shot here uh, don't know if we'll get over the hump but it it should be a uh, sh- should be a pretty tight race hopefully down to the end of the season um, so can see who's in last place so the White Sox are uh, very much out of this um, actually not as far out as I thought. Uh, the lowest team in the league would be. So, uh, and over here, it's uh, it's actually close to the same. I thought I thought uh, both you know the the NL and the AL we'd have teams with worse records than they are, but you know it's, it's a you know this is a sim season and it looks like the sims have been pretty nice this year. So we'll go ahead and keep playing out. Uh, hopefully, players. Um, ho- hopefully, these players. Uh, you know, hopefully our players keep winning. Uh, another thing to note here. Um, is uh it does say my my th- my uh 40 man is at 30 39 um so uh, originally i uh put um who did i just call up can't remember who i called up so originally i had to put uh garden wine onto the 40 man but barnett was already on the 40 man so when i took fister off i didn't have to replace him and i had to designate him for assignment and wa- place him on waivers to get him off the uh to get him off the major league uh, roster, so we had we had to get him off the major league roster to do that. So uh, we'll go ahead. We'll continue simming, and hopefully uh, it, it just uh, keeps getting better. Okay, so uh, we. I remember. I think I said uh, I'm planning. I was planning on a giving Destin Hood a call up if we had an injury to a position player, so he'd be eligible for a postseason roster. Now. According to the standings, we don't really, we're looking a little bit less likely to be in the postseason than I was hoping right now, but we're still close. We're ahead of the Mariners, we're ahead of the Mariners by four games, which, you know, I'll take. Uh, but Odour just got a sprained ankle that'll leave moderately, uh, with a moderate injury for one to two weeks. So, uh, what I want to do, the September uh, the September call-ups actually are in three days, but so my initial thought was, well, let's just wait it out. No, no, no sense in putting him on the DL. Um, but this will, but if I put him on the DL, that will definitely make sure that he is not, um, that that he that uh, he's not played during that time, and I can call up Hood. Now this will be the final spot on my. Uh, 40-man roster. Uh, luckily, uh, Toki and Ibanez. Oh, Ibanez is not on the 40-man roster. Well, that will be a problem. Um, so maybe we're not gonna. Maybe we're not gonna give him a call up. Um, to for the uh, end of the season if we don't have a spot on the 40-man roster. Uh, is there any way we can take off? Not really. Position player-wise. Um. Um, I'm not mind losing Wagner. Um, I would mind losing Palumbo. He would totally be claimed. Um, Chris Martin still got pretty good. Got potentially pretty good. Uh, Parks is looking. Um. Well, he's been used twice since I last up, so, you know, that's an improvement. Um, 
So yeah, we're gonna keep him. We're gonna keep him on the roster. Um, yeah, he's looking a lot better at Triple A. Um, might be able to justify maybe taking. I don't know. Rep had a pretty good year here. So yeah, I think I think we're gonna end up taking. Um, Uh, Wagner off the, Wagner off the forty man roster because I wouldn't mind losing him. I don't think he has that much potential. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's go back here. Did we actually call him up? Yes, we did. Okay. Oh, and that means we need a. Wait a minute. What happened here? Okay. Hang it. He got hurt. I just wanted to make sure they didn't demote him. So. A lot of injuries here. So the lineups are shaking out. So we don't have a right fielder because I just promoted him. Uh, Drew Robinson. Okay, he's a utility player. You know, get him some reps out there. Get him some reps. Um, I think Bondis can play out in the outfield. Not well. Um, he's playing left. Oh, he's playing left. So... They, they have twelve players. They have three catchers. They need to move. They need to move catching around. Um, otherwise, I guess Christian Lopes is gonna play left field. So, um, I guess that's what they're gonna do. So, um, well, the the assistant GM needs to, needs to do their job. So, gonna go ahead and simulate up to. Um, Okay, uh, I swear I got a thing. Oh, uh, back to back, back injury. Let's go ahead, put him on the DL. Um, Him on waivers. I'm sure that we need to designate him for assignment. Yeah, we need to designate him for assignment to take him off. And then. You know what? I really don't know if I want to start his timer right now. Or if I just bring up Ploof. If I bring up Ploof, then Ploof is an option for the minor league for the uh We're gonna call up Rupp. We're gonna call up Rupp because that leaves Rupp as eligible to make the postseason roster. And that's important because I can take Shiro, I can leave Shiranos off. Shiranos is not really having a good season. Uh, so uh, his fielding stats are okay. Why did he play third base one game this year? That's a great, that's a weird question. So. Um, and the other thing, uh, just kind of nice to mention here, I, how far back do I have to go? Um, Andrus's streak reached 26 games before ending, and before that, uh, John Gray threw a perfect game. So, I don't think I've ever seen a perfect game thrown in one of my simulations. Probably gets lost in the news when you... Sim, you know, when you simulate like 10 months at a time. Jesus, I got 10 messages? What is going on here? Okay, so we got a new pitcher to our system. Um, so that's, that change up is questionable. Uh, 
I have heard rumors that if a changeup is no, is not above uh, is not above average potential, it will never full it will never develop. So I doubt he ever really becomes much, but we will see. Um, you know, we'll we'll see if he uh, see if he develops into anything. Uh, we can carry up to forty players uh, the rest of the season. Uh, so let's see. L number one batter is Stinton, who hit 17 home runs, 36 RBIs. Yeah, that's a pretty good month. So, uh, so let's see. Bart just put up the uh, Sally League uh, batter of the month. Uh, six home runs, 20 RBIs, 22 runs score. That's not bad. So, uh, looks like Bart's having a pretty good season at the Sally League. Um, let's take a look at his uh, stats here. So he's uh. Let's see, so Sally League is this one here. So, really good ISO. Okay, bad. Um, like to see it a little bit higher. Strikeout percentage is really low. Walk percentage is getting better. Um, so, you know, he's he might be a fast mover. Might be starting the season next year at uh, A Advanced. So, um, we will... Uh, go back over to the season transactions. Um, so I don't necessarily want to um, want everyone up right now. Um, I'm going to call Pereira, which might be a bad idea. Uh, Good call up Leclerc, because he's had a really good year. Um, Parks just hasn't pitched. Uh, I'm still going to call up, because he did fine at, at the major league level uh, earlier this year. Do we have any lefties that we can call up? I don't think we do. Um... Kella at Triple A. Um, yeah, he's done okay. Uh, he's closing down there. I'm gonna leave him down there. And then, uh, like I said, call up Toki. So playoff roster. Lee is not in playoff. Okay, I thought you could get to that starting today. Um, so uh, we will let's go to next page, and we are three games out of the. Playoff hunt now. Oh, we have dropped two games to the team that's right ahead of us. And we lost to them again. So this is not going very well. Uh, we just got swept by the team that is right in front of us in the uh, in the standings for the uh, for, for the second wildcard spot. I've never seen them get two players this close together. Like two players in three days. Uh, so let's see. This looks a little more promising. He's got high work ethic. Um, figures some of this is gonna adjust upwards a little bit. Has experience at all three outfield spots. Looks like probably a left fielder. Um, maybe a center fielder. The arm's not great, so. Uh, anyway, read all messages. So, go ahead and, oh, Tehran's out for the season. And we are just losing all sorts of games at the worst possible time. Um, Guzman, mild shoulder strain day to day for two weeks. Uh, minimal effect. I'll let the manager, you know, possibly, hopefully, um, you know, manage that very well. So, uh, let's see. Save streak. Uh, I think that means he just blew his save. Uh, okay, he did clear waivers. So, demote to triple A round rock. Uh, pitching. So, that's Claudio. And, yep, he just blew his 25th save. So. Um, uh, let's see. Standings. We are now six games out of the wild card. And uh, Odor is back. That is good. 
Um, so, uh, it's very hard to make up six games in a month. Um, uh, oh, each row is going to retire. Um, so he's, like, retired right now. Or is he ending at the season end, season's end? So a lot of times they'll announce uh, season's end. Uh, Beltray back. Um, so back to Ichiro. He still lists him with the Mariners, so he might he must be retired at season's end. Um, yeah, it's really hard to make up six games in a month. Um, Vargas. Uh, go ahead and set him on the block. I have a feeling we're not going to be able to to trade him, but uh, looks like most of his anger is from his own performance. Uh, looks like he's been doing pretty well recently, so. Um, but we'll see if someone will take him. Uh, Guzman stuff is a setback. He has to be ready to play. It's a minimal injury. So, uh, let's see. Diamondbacks clinch a spot. Padres are worse than us, so hopefully we can put the hurting on them. Uh, win game one. Deepman, minimal for two days. Okay. Uh, let's go back to standings. Because in order for us to move up, not only do we have to win, but the Yankees would have to lose. So. Uh, okay, so the Yankees lost. Or didn't play. Looks like they lost and we won and the Twins won. So. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, Noah Mazzara, player of the week, 15 hits, 26 at bats, and home. That's not a bad week. Um, he's having a, he's having a hell of a season. Uh, 36 home runs, 30, 337, 395, 618, slash line. Man, he's gotta be part of the future with this team. Like, I, I've gotta keep him around. Uh, personal message. Oh, Volquez is retiring. That sucks. He ended this. He ended his career with a torn UCL. I was hoping he would come back next year so we could uh, bring him back up, let him play a little bit. Um, scouting. So last scouting report on him. Would have been okay. Um, so I would like to give him one last run, but it sucks that that's the way it ends for him. So uh, at this point, honestly. If we can end the season at above 500, I would consider that a win. Uh, we just need four more wins. So we got one of them. Ooh. That's not good. Uh, so he suffered, so let's see, so today's the 18th, so he pitched today. So he should be healthy by the time the, by the time his, his spot in the rotation comes around again. So I'm gonna try something here. Okay, so he, he his his contract he's wanting is about the same. So I mentioned I think in the trade deadline video that teams tend to value in, in trades, teams tend to value a player who is hurt as lower than a player who's healthy. So if you if a guy, you know, comes off the disabled list, uh, his value to to teams goes up as soon as he comes off that DL. So. Um, so I was going to see, I wanted to see really quickly if that injury, uh, with substantial effect, and maybe it's because it's a day-to-day -day injury, um, would affect his, uh, his, his, his request for, for an extension. Uh, because I, I do really want to extend him, but I'm not going to shell out that kind of money for a guy who is, uh, who's as old as he is. Uh, let's see. So Cole Hamels is 34. I'm not going to shell out, you know, what was it like 80 something like something close to 80 million dollars over five years. Uh, 
I mean, he's barely effective today. He's not going to be as effective, you know, five years from now. Uh, Luke Croy would like an extension. Let's see what he's asking for right now. Six years, $129 million. I'm not saying he's not worth it. He's just not worth that much to me. Again, he's 32. By the time this is over, he's going to be 38, 39. I've got Joey Bart in the system. I've got a couple other catchers in the system. Um, let's go to front office. Uh, where is the... I can't remember where the... There it is, team chemistry. So, Beltre is our leader, or our captain. LaCroix is a leader. Elvis is a prankster. Uh, DeShields is uh, selfish. And as much as this guy kind of fits my... Um, you know, I like guys who's fast like that, gets on base, and okay him out. He's having, he's having a pretty solid season out there. Not a great season, but a solid season nonetheless. Um... I'm not. I'm not sure. I want to bring him back for next year. Um, so, let's see what's going on there. Okay, so the Astros win the division. Let's go to the wild cards. So, okay, so we are the last team in the wild card hunt that is alive. Team home screen schedule. I could probably just. So we have played 152 games. We have. 10 games left before the end of the season. We have to make up five and a half games. We need one of these three teams to lose six games, at least. And we weren't supposed to lose one. Oh, we didn't play. Oh, thank God. So we won, okay. We won, we're four and a half games out. I don't care about who's in first. I just care that that number gets smaller. Four and a half. We won, but everyone else won. No, we lost, damn it. Uh, this, this irks, that number irks me. Uh, let's see, Chavez wants to be extended. Not worth doing right now. Uh, is that, no, is that my guy? No, it's not. Okay. That chase. Wild cards. Finish today. Six games we lost again. Damn it. We've secured a winning record. And that's it. We're out. We're out of the playoffs. Well, I had a feeling that was going to happen. This team really isn't quite there. Um, the rotation definitely isn't there. Um, Marcus is in the, the rotation like you asked for. Um, but... You know, we just we just don't have the the horses to to get there this year. Um, you know, our best really our best starter here, Handles, had a terrible year. Um, Bundy, I think is going to come back. I don't think Bundy's going to be. I think Bundy's going to improve. Uh, you can see his his strikeouts per nine went up, and his walks uh his walk, his walk per nine went up a little bit, and his home run per nine went up. They're staying the same. Well, that's they're headed this year. So uh, his walks per nine compared to last year uh, stayed the same. Strikeouts went up a little bit. Home runs went up a little bit, but that's just noise probably, hopefully. So uh, definitely going to keep him around for next year. I, I acquired him because I think we can we can build around him possibly uh, going forward. So uh, Vargas herniated disc. Uh, well, the 
computer did what the uh, what the actual uh, game or what actual actually won't happen in real life. And it looks like we had two minor league. Looks like we had three minor leaguers uh, win reliever of the year. So that's pretty encouraging. Um, okay, looks like he didn't get it. So why am I getting that? That's not my guy, so I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, yeah, these guys aren't mine. Um, Pelham is, but... Uh, let's play some on a DL just so... Just so the game recognizes him as off the roster. I don't. I don't know why it matters because it's not gonna. It's not gonna come around again. So Pelham. Okay, Pelham won pitcher of the year completely. So that's awesome. Um, another player discovered. Um, he's had no experience at third base, but apparently has really good. Is there? Has no range and no ability to turn into a play. Um, I set his position to right field because that's what I was going to play for us. So um, didn't really affect his potential. And let's see. So that's the end of the regular season. Uh, we will not be having a postseason episode, it appears, unfortunately. So um, I will go ahead. I'm going to end it here. Um, and then I'll uh, go ahead, uh, end it here. Uh, you know, we'll hopefully... Uh, uh, how did Stan... Okay, Batter of the Month. I thought that was like the, the batting title. The batting title should come out soon, too. So, okay, there it is. Hail back. So, um, so I'm, I'm going to end it uh, right here. Um, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I did try to do a little bit more of... Uh, did, did try to do a little bit more. Hey, uh, Hood did win, Hood won MVP at the uh, AAA level. That's, that's really awesome. Uh, he put up the numbers for it. So, um, so I'm going to end it right here. Uh, I'm not going to bother looking at the people's stats yet. Cause, uh, I'll do that in the, I'll do that in the next episode when we, to start the off season out. Um, but, uh, if you guys did, uh, if you guys do like what you see here, um, please do, please do subscribe. Remember to click, click the bell icon. Um, I have, uh, already ordered, uh, 20, uh, I've got some time off this week. Um, and another player from the Dominican Republic. Wow. Um, but again, not really any, anything talented. They, they, they usually end up being not that good, but you know, sometimes they can turn out better than what they want, what they are or what they look like at first. So, uh, anyway, back on topic, I have a uh, Thursday and Friday off of my, off of work this week. So I'm going to play a lot of, uh, 20, uh, going to try to make a couple of videos potentially, uh, during that time. Um, I do kind of have an idea of what I want to do, uh, for, uh, for, for my first, uh, for, for my first, uh, run in 20. Um, I'm probably just going to play a team. Um, I'm thinking, uh, either take over a team like the White Sox and help them finish the rebuild and turn into a dynasty, or take over someone like the Mets who went all in and is trying to, you know, be really, uh, top end, you know, top, top end team and win, win right now. So I'm leaning toward the White Sox, but, uh, I don't know if people want to see me try to run the, the Mets really quickly, um, so if, if that uh, if you guys have a preference, let me know. Uh, if it turns out that a lot more people want to see the Mets, I may start with that and potentially do the White Sox later. Uh, at some point, I'm going to do 
probably a, a run where I focus only on one thing. Uh, kind of a, not necessarily a joke run, but a, a themed run. So, uh, I may do a joke run too. Uh, where I do something stupid as my theme, like all have the same first name or something like that. So, uh, but that is it for this time. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time.